this time, it's a pleasure to introduce our honor essayist, Stephen Freitas. Thank you, Mr. Vodka. Parents, faculty, honored guests, and most of all, my fellow graduates. The time has arrived for us. Thank you. The time has arrived for us to move on to new horizons. We have completed a phase in our lives that we will remember forever. And as we finish the few last moments of our high school career at graduation, you might reminisce about the past four years. It seems like only yesterday that we were sitting in our emergency home rooms as freshmen, waiting for the unexpected. It was a transition that we all had to go through, but one that lasted for only a short while. For those of you who are about to go on to college, a similar experience will start all over again. The transition will be more difficult, but also more rewarding. As freshmen, we received our first taste of high school. We were not recognized by any of the upperclassmen. We were just another breed of animal that emerged from the Woodbury each fall. But what started out a little sour soon changed to something sweet. We were able to participate in Spirit Week for the first time, giving us a chance to dress up and do some crazy things. The seniors then welcomed us to the school with the freshman reception. This gave us our first experience with high school dances, which got better as each year passed by. But we still longed to be something more. We wished we were sophomores. Our freshman year ended, and we moved up a step on the ladder to become sophomores. It felt good to know that there was someone now that was below us. However, the sophomore doesn't have a big role in high school. It seems that our role as sophomores was to take up space, the transition from someone with no importance to someone with a high esteem. People knew who the juniors and seniors were, and you could tell who the freshmen were just by looking at them. But the sophomores were just there, we still wanted more, and we wished to be juniors. When we became juniors, we became people. Others began to listen to us. Junior year is a difficult year for most students, and it probably was for most of you. We will soon find out, however, that the problems and hard times we suffered from in the past were trivial compared to the ones that we will experience in the future. The class of 1985 was the first to hold a junior prom inside the school. We accepted the change reluctantly at first but made the best of it, and in the end, we had a great prom. Finally, the year we had been wishing for came, our senior year. It was a great year, filled with a lot of good times, but it was also very hectic for both parents and students. Decision, a decision had to be made on what to do after high school, whether to join the service, go on to college, or go to work. We've been through it all, and we deserve only the best. My parents, and probably a lot of yours too, have told me that I'll miss high school. I used to just look at them like they were out of it. And throughout our high school years, we've been wishing that we were out. Well, we're out now. And it's time to face the real world and its challenges. They tell us we're going to wish we were back in school. And that we should have wished our, and that we should not have wished our high school years away. And by the looks of many of your faces yesterday at this awards assembly in the baccalaureate, I know we'll miss high school. But the memories are still there, and the old friends will stay forever. And just remember, we should make best of what we have and will have in the future. And don't wish things away. I want to wish each and every one of you in this great class of 1985 the best of luck in his or her future. And congratulations, guys. Thanks a lot.